What is up everybody? Simulation here. Oh god, that was a terrible intro. Anyways, uh, today we're gonna be talking about the New Year's update. Sorry, it's 14 days late. <laughs> That's okay though. Anyways, today we are oh, clicking. I'm clicking stuff. Okay, on or New Year's Day, whichever one you prefer. Some other than some others. Anyways, it was in that. Today we're gonna be talking about what happened on the update. What happened, you know. Okay, first things first. Ranks. Weird that we're starting off. That's okay, though. Alright, let's... What changed about ranks, you may ask? Well, right away, you now get penalized for all four getting away. It's the four stamps. Okay. Now that we got that settled. And, by the way, they also made it harder for you to get... I guess your... Our, your elite rank... Alright, next thing next, we're going to be talking about loot cases. Do they earn too much? Possibly. We'll open one or two, just to prove my point. Bronze cases, they're fairly easy to obtain. Mostly silver cases are. So, my point right there, two silvers and one bronze. Sometimes you can get gold, and I think that's ridiculous. Do I think it's balanced? Eh, it's debatable, because if there's people from that have a ton of keys, which, by the way, I hope spring back is where the thieves can earn coins if you're the first one, and nobody else, like if you're the first one to the van, because, you know, that's not exactly easy to do, depending on your situation. Now, it sometimes is and sometimes isn't, especially when you're higher level. I feel like it's a bit lenient. Okay, next thing we're going to be talking about is adrenaline. The it, the bug, or I think it's a bug, but the developers may think it's a great thing. I should take it away to where, you know, because the adrenaline bug, what I'm trying to say is that the adrenaline at some point used to not go away for a very long time when you were behind cover. As soon as you drink it now, you lose it instantly. And this brings me up to my next point. This is only a 25% difference. Keep in mind that this is the, the silver one costs 2,000, which is 75%, and then the 100%, which is only a 25% difference, is 9K. Hmm, something's wrong here. And there is no difference other than the 25% boost, which is ridiculous. I feel like they need, they need to fix that, either increase or lower the amount it costs. Mm -hmm. Brings me up to my next point. The bush, the car, and the box. Are they useless? Yes. The reason why is because we do not lose money anymore when we are behind cover. Phew. I know, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you still want to use the bush and the box in the car, go ahead. I won't stop you. But they're completely useless in the game right now, especially the gold ones. They cost about 2000 each, you know, 1500 somewhere in that 1.5k, somewhere in that region. And let me tell you, it's not worth it anymore. So with that said, we are going to be talking about mods and hacks and the websites that you can find them on. Now, I'm not going to be releasing the websites, but... You know, I'm going to show you one of them. This is one of my friends. I disapprove of his actions. And he got banned. And I'm hoping the developers take notice of this and hopefully add in a patch in the near future that prevents all mods from possibly happening because it's ridiculous because I don't like modders. Okay. Okay, and I'm back. Alright, now this is one of the websites where... Okay, and I'm back. Alright, now this is one of the websites where you can find said, I guess, hacks? They're actually hacks, believe it or not. The difference between mods and hacks. Hmm, hacks break the game. Mods, I get, they're basically the same. I, yeah, I put them in the same, but things that mods in this can do. That means you can be level 100 and you can join all cartels, but it will not visually show it. This is my friend's mods, by the way. <laughs> I don't use mods because they're new stuff. Unlimited speed, 
There actually used to be a lot more mods on here. You probably took them off after I told them to take them off. But that's okay. Really happy that he did, because I mean, let's be honest here. I don't like mods, and I told him I don't. And yeah, that's about it. And personally, I feel like the developers need to get on top of this mod issue because it's becoming a very serious thing to where it can be game breaking. Almost everyone has mods because everyone knows that everyone looks up to at least one, let alone GTA 5 to Xbox to PlayStation 4 to PC to CSGO, whatever. It doesn't matter. There's mod. And I feel like that this is something that needs to be tackled soon at least come up with a patch to fix it to, pre to prevent all the other you know mods slash modders but anyways um it's been fun doing this uh i will be posting daily in the near future yeah let me check my list yep okay in the near future all right um with that said anyways guys it's been simulation i'll see you later peace all right now i got to edit this thing <laughs>